ever since, uh, I don't know, the Seagram building in the 50s, architects have been obsessed with the transparency. What we want is a glass box. But in the 21st century, we have to consider environmental issues and, and we cannot just blow cooling uh, at the maximum. So we have to keep the solar energy out. And then uh, there is not many ways to do that. If you want a big glazed surface, either you put blinds outside or you have to have a dark glass. But both of these solutions are not really satisfactory. So we were always looking for a third option other than dark glass or blinds. And that's where this uh, liquid crystal glass comes in. The way our eyes works, or one of the ways the benefits is that it can switch very quickly. So when we sat down in the initial meeting with the architect and with the main contract and the Oakley people to see this glass switching when they wanted it to switch was one of the big surprises for this team. For this building, uh, the company Orkla and us and everybody, of course, was very much worried about implementing energy efficient uh, solutions. So that's why we have solar panels on all the roofs. We have a green roof. And one of the new thing that we did is the liquid crystal. In climates like this, where there's a lot of darkness in the year, people like to maximize natural daylight because it's good for you, because it's part of this light wellness, this well-being that we talk often about with architects in the world. The way people work is changing. You can work everywhere if you're connected. You can go work on the sofa and then go to a meeting and then go somewhere else. And the canteen is a space where you can have informal meeting, where you can talk, where things can happen. And that's where we have the liquid crystal glass. So from outside, from the street, you can see there is something happening inside that big building block.